Time has no emotion. It does not stop and wait for you to pick yourself up. The world will continue to spin, even if you don't want to move. It does not care if your friend dies one day and your mother the next. If you stop, the world will pass you by until five years has passed. This is the story of Anohana. The language of flowers is a prominent theme in Anohana. As the original title of the show, we still don't know the name of the flower we saw that day. It explores the language of flowers, conveying subtle emotions and messages when we don't have the words to express them. There are many flowers that appear in the show. One of the most represented is the forget-me-not. This is the symbol of Honma Meiko, the free-spirited Moe character of the Super Peace Buses group who tragically died at a very young age by falling into a river. The German fairy tale of the forget-me-not is similar, where a knight was walking with his lover, jumped into a river to retrieve a flower for her, but was caught in the current. As he swept away, he yelled, Forget me not! The forget me not symbolizes the remembering of those we have lost and true undying love. Although no one has forgotten about Memma, the memory of her has been distorted, affecting every character in some way to fall into the depths of their own shadows. The only memory that has played over and over again is the day of Memma's death. Jinta cannot forget the words he said to Memma that day, calling her ugly and running away. Jinta hides his feelings, unable to communicate with other people. Yukiyato cannot forget his confession to Memma, giving her the hair clip. The flower on the hair clip is a type of baby spread flower, used to confess one's feelings to another. Yukiyato has always seen himself as second to Jinta. When he confessed his feelings to her without requited feelings, he truly felt he had lost Jinta. Anuru cannot forget the question she asked Jinta that started the entire scenario. Like how Yukiyatsu feels inferior to Jenta, she feels inferior to Menma. Back then, I hated my curly hair and glasses so much. Meanwhile, Menma was perfect. Of course Jean Tom would like her. Menma's mother obsesses over Menma's death, envious that time had stopped for her and even ignoring her family and still living son. And most of all, for Popo. Popo cannot forget the image of Mimma falling into the river as he watched helplessly by, too scared, unable to do anything. Popo, you became a giant! Adorable! Puberty and change is a recurring subject that is mentioned by many characters. The writers of the show wanted to tell a story about coming of age and the complex emotions and realities one faces growing up. Although five years has passed and the characters have all grown up, they are still no different from their past selves. However, since the traumatic death of Menma, they have forcefully changed their personalities for the worse to somehow cope with their inabilities. They cannot face their past selves because it reminds them too much of the death of Menma. They want to change from their previous selves, but force it in unnatural ways. Jinta, who used to be the charismatic leader, becomes a hermit. He is afraid of facing the outside world because of the length of time he has secluded himself. He is afraid to face those around him, his classmates, his neighbors, and his childhood friends. Jinta also has a bad habit of suppressing his emotions that started when his mother was in the hospital. Yukiyatsu furthers his inferiority complex at Jinta. Although Yukiyatsu has achieved so much by attending a prestigious prep school where he excels, he still compares himself to the idea of Jinta in his former glory days. Yukiyatsu is even popular with the girls of his school, but he secretly obsesses over Medma, not giving any other girl a thought, including Sudoku. He cross-dresses as Menma when he wants to be with her. It's as if he's trying to say that he has achieved so much, yet why does she not acknowledge his achievements to choose him over Jinta? After Yukiyatsu starts to accept his queer coping mechanisms, he slowly realizes he needs to change. However, the change is still forceful by asking Anaru quite awkwardly out on a date. Anaru, who wanted to be like Menma, focuses on her looks in order to attract Jinta. She discards everything else in order to be beautiful like Menma. She enters into the low-level high school Jinta was accepted to and hangs out with Gyaru girls for the sake of trying to fit in. Suruko, who used to be kind and caring towards others, became cold and emotionless. Her kind self still resides in her by her expression of art. She also still holds strong feelings towards Yukiyatsu and resentment for Menma and Anuru. Menma's mother has also changed. Like Jinta, she secludes herself from the outside but for the reason of resentment towards the living. She resents those who came home that day, while her daughter never returned. 
She cannot accept the death of Menma. She constantly feeds Menma's favorite dish to her and ignores the current events of her family and son that is still alive. At first glance, you would guess Popo has not changed at all. He acts in his eccentric ways and supporting Jinta at every turn. However, there are scenes that give away his fear of the past. Popo, who suffered the most by witnessing Memma's death, wants to forget. He literally escapes the world he grew up in by traveling around Southeast Asia. He wants to forget, but he cannot forgive himself for what he did. Like the others, Popo also fears Memma. They are afraid of remembering her as if she is an angry entity that will haunt them for her death. Popo even carries around the flowers that were on the hillside in a pouch around his neck. Popo is God-fearing of Menma, returning to a secret base to replace the flowers for her. Popo places many flowers for Menma, but one significant is the daisy. One of the daisy's symbolic meanings is transformation and new beginnings. At the start of the show, we see the daisies in a glass bottle, and slowly, they start to wither. This shows the passage of time and change. Like Menma, instead of returning as a child at the age when she died, she returns grown up like the rest of her friends. This shows how time does not stop, no matter what. It is expressed many times that the group is stuck, they cannot move on. While the world passes them by, they linger in the past, unable to detach themselves from the death of Menma. This is in contrast to the epilogue movie, where we see the characters a year later in peace. In the show, the flashbacks were all related to Menma's death. But in the movie, we see the group playing and having fun as children. This shows how the members are not able to remember Memma correctly by remembering the fun times with her instead of focusing on her death. This is also shown in the ending of the show and movie. As Memma passes, we see the silhouette of the Super Peace Busters as children, acting as their natural selves. This is the change Memma truly wanted to see. She returned to a world where everything around her had changed, everyone was sad and broken, but in the end, everyone returned to their natural selves. Growing up, change is a natural part of life, but it is important to remember the past and build upon that. Memma is at peace with her death because although she may reincarnate into anything, she will always be a super peace buster, bookmarking the memory of her and her friends. Back to the title, we still don't know the name of the flower we saw that day. Growing up, we experienced many strong emotions that remain in our memory, unable to express them into words because of how strong they are. That is the reason for the title. Because the characters are still young, they kind of express the emotions in words as simply as love and friendship. Thus, they don't know the name of their own flowers. Similar to the theme song Blue Bookmark, there is a sense of ambiguity to the feelings in the song. They use the forget-me-not flower as a blue bookmark to return to the feelings and memories they are unsure of how to express. Expressing one's feelings as a child is never easy. During Jinta's mother's hospitalization, we see Jinta's bad habit develop by running away after seeing his mother in that condition. This is why Jinta's mom asks Memma for help. She is afraid he will continue to bottle his emotions, unable to feel anything anymore and unable to move through life. We fear that when we are gone, the world around those we care about will collapse into chaos. We feel as if we cannot rest peacefully, knowing the world we left is in ruins. For those we have lost, we need to live for them, so that they can rest peacefully. We need to live for them in the now, not wandering in the world of the past. However, we should not forget those memories. Instead, we need to remember the good times with those we loved. Because as long as those memories are alive, they are alive in our hearts as well. That is your very own secret base.